ice. See, ice is a madman. Hey, um, this morning, the lesson is going to be about Mr. Poop. Mr. Pope, the poopster in Turkey. Now, in the past years, I've been making videos for a bunch of years now. Nobody watches them, so I don't care what I say. But it does make sense. Turkey is an ancient holy area. Very, very many events happened up in Turkey in the uh, early years of Christianity. And the Pope's up there because he was meeting with these uh, other religions, one of them being the, the, the uh, Muslims, the Orthodox Christians, and uh, some other religions. We even had some kind of prayer inside, some kind of, you know, holy place that's holy to Christians. That was an Islamic prayer. You know, I don't care about this stuff. It's, to me, it's all the same. But it is a significant um, piece of the puzzle, in the historical puzzle here, that's unfolding. It's beautiful out here, of course. It's a dress free ride to work. Doing okay on time. Not great, but not, not bad. I'm going to take some videos of the project we're working on out here. You know, the rich people are building stuff. You know, they're um, investing money in construction, so I'll, I'll explain that later. But back to the um, Pope in Turkey. Now, we have to remember a lot of significant events happened, like I said, in early Christianity up there in Turkey. Very significant. And all the other nations where we also had significant, you know, events. Iraq, Iran, uh, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, um, Lebanon, Lebanon especially, have have turned from their roots of the original roots you know to um to the um, islamic faith and turkey's like one of the last bastions although i think it is mostly muslim now you know it used to be told all christian or we're all kind of converts and um, probably a few other religions mixed in there but but um of course it was the ottomans that rose up and changed all that and uh, um Turkey has nuclear weapons. We have a giant United States Air Force base, their naval base, and we have nuclear weapons on that base and scattered around God only knows where in Turkey. But I, my last report was I think 270, I mean, just F you all the way to the moon nukes. That means horrible, horrible things. Now look, there's an arsenal there. I think we should get all of our weapons out of these countries that we can't trust. But you know, right now it's a strategic position for us to be in. So that's why everything is, you have to look at the whole picture. Everything is sort of, it, it's, it's all a combination, not just of one things, but of many things. That's why everything's so perplexing. We have to keep the religious thing under control in order to keep control of that area so we can keep our weapons there. Now, it, but but I always said, man, we it, you know a lot of this stuff we can't even transport because it's so radioactive over here in some of these countries that we've been in, and Turkey's one of them. But you know, we can't. How can we trust this country? We, you can't trust Egypt. I mean, all these countries over there you cannot trust simply because this Muslim faith. And I mean, it, it's just one of the. Like I said, it's it's it's. I have no opinion one way or the other. It's part of the puzzle. It's part of this thing that's coming together to this point, this pyramid that soon is going to be. At the top, the building of the pyramid, it's just a piece of the puzzle. But the Pope wants to reunite these religions. Then we'll have one world religion. And then that'll, that'll, that'll lead to one world laws, one world, world government to enforce these laws. So, you know, and then, then it's a whole thing that's gonna spill over into all parts of society. We have to share all the cost, all the burdens. It's going to be very horrible times coming up. Anyway, my thoughts on the poop. The Pope in Turkey, where there's nuclear weapons. Lots of them. Duck out.